I'm gonna start with the vintage one. Uh, this is the 4x9. And I added one of these Coco Chanel from um, when I was printing them out for my Coco Chanel loaded envelope. I thought it would look cute here too. And then I have a cute little bag here with sequins. <coughs> Excuse me. And I have a tag here, a vintage tag. And Denise is, um, she is, I believe, a tattered angel. A tattered dream. Uh, her f uh, Facebook page is a tattered dream. And she's, um, that's her Etsy store as well. And her YouTube is Practice Makes Pretty. So I told her I was going to send her a cute uh, little loaded envelope. And okay, and this just has a tag here. And embossed it. She can use it for whatever she wants. And then some really pretty vintage lace. Another pretty little tag, and then here's another envelope, and it has a cute little tag inside. And I used the You and Me Tells of You and Me collection by Prima. I really like how it turned out. Okay, so that is my mini. Um, I just want to show you guys real quick the little banner I made here. I embossed the paper here and then I used some muslin and then some pretty lace and a pretty bling. Okay, I'll put this here for now. Okay, loaded envelope number two for Marissa. So I might do two videos. These are for my one-on-one -on -one swaps. And then I'll show you in another video the ones for the group. Okay, and this is my um, kind of like a fashion theme faded envelope. And Marissa, she is Marissa Baldonado on YouTube, and she is Crafty Young Mama. I'm sorry, Marissa Baldonado on Facebook, and she's Crafty Young Mama on YouTube. And we, like I said, we're going to see each other on Friday at the Scrapbook Expo in Ontario. In case anybody's going to go, uh, we're going to be at the Go Washi booth. Um, I think we're doing some make and take, so if you guys want to join us, that would be so great. Okay, and then for her, I made a series of like gift card holders. Okay, here's a pretty envelope, this really cute little cutout image that I got from Pinterest. And she can put a little gift card in here or use it for whatever she wants. And here is another gift card holder as well. Um, it says always fab and we have one of my favorite images also from Pinterest. Okay, and then um, I have this pretty little paper clip with one of my pretty little fashion models here. I added a little feather. Okay, and the, the way I did this loaded envelope is um, I used a 112 by 12 sheet. And then um, if you guys go on the group, we have the link to the tutorial. Um, I really like it because it's just like one 12 by 12 sheet and you score it at three and a quarter and then nine. And then you turn it and you score it at six, I believe. And then it gives you, no, you score it at nine. And then it gives you this uh, six by nine, okay? And then here is a pretty wand. And I love the Christmas uh, time because we get all the pretty little gold uh, stuff that we can use for embellishment. Okay, and then here is a jumbo tag. 
And I put wild thing indeed. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was cute for her. And then um, I put this really pretty trim here that I got from Pamela's House of Craft, I think it's called, on YouTube. I'm sorry, on Facebook. Okay. And here's another little wand. But this is a pen. A pen wand. And um, I bought this like this already. I just sell these in kits, so I just haven't made any kits um, with that yet. Okay, and here is the inside. It has like a cute little pocket made out of uh, the um, acetate. Okay, and I added one of these little pencils too with the polishes. I think that was cute. Okay, and then in here we have another little tag, Coco Chanel. We have this lovely lady that I cut out in my Cricut Air. And then we have this really cute tag that I also cut out in my Cricut Air. It's a cute little hanger. And another little tag here. Another little uh, envelope with this one has a tag inside. It says to be bold. I'm not sure if I'll make it like an open tag, open envelope, or just leave it like that. But, okay, and then in the back here, I have this other really pretty lady with the little gold heart clip. Okay, and then I added a really pretty gold acrylic bow on the Coco Chanel bottle here. Okay, so um, I hope you guys uh, like this, uh, these loaded envelopes. I just enjoy making them. You can make them in any, any theme. I mean, it's just endless. I mean, it's, it's kind of like a, just another way of flip booking, I guess you can say. But um, check out the group, Loaded Envelopes Galore. If you're a seasoned crafter, you're round swapper, then you would like this group because uh, we're trying to do a lot of swaps. Um, there's about, I think there's two swaps open right now. So anyways, uh, leave me your comments, uh, give this video a thumbs up if you like the project, and um, check out the links that I'm going to leave below for a tutorial on how to make the 12 by 12 and then the original loaded envelope video that I uploaded in April okay so I hope you guys like it and thank you guys for watching stay tuned for the other video for the Coco Chanel and the winter wonderland loaded envelopes bye